An investigation by our partners at The Lens is raising questions about the widespread use of powerful antipsychotic drugs on young people now incarcerated in juvenile facilities. And reporter Matt Davis joins us now to discuss the findings. Thanks for coming in. Thank you, Liz. So what does the law basically say on what you can and can't do with medication drugs with kids incarcerated? Well, um, kids are being given very strong antipsychotic drugs. And these drugs actually are only approved by the Federal Drug Administration for people over 18. Uh, but they have been increasingly prescribed for people under that age uh, as long as psychiatrists say that it's a good idea. Um, but these drugs are really very powerful and can have a very numbing effect. And what we found was that while the drugs were developed for bipolar disorder and schizophrenia, uh, plenty of uh, juveniles in Louisiana are being given these drugs uh, when they don't have either of those problems. So um, it's prompting critics to, to raise the specter of chemical restraint. They're saying we're giving these, these uh, drugs to kids just so that they can be numbed, so that we don't have to deal with them. So what should they be doing? Should it be more counseling, trying to deal with the root of the problem that got them there instead of the drugs? That's right. We spoke to experts from all over the country, and we did extensive public records requests to find out the, the, the kind of scale of this problem. And people uh, who are advocates for these juveniles say that really we're letting these kids down if we simply prescribe them these very strong drugs. What we really need to be doing is kind of getting at the root causes of their behavior, which sometimes um, you know, would involve counseling or, or even better care in the community so that these kids don't end up involved in the justice system in the first place. What are some of the side effects you've discovered in researching this? Well, these drugs have very uh, strong side effects, particularly extreme weight gain uh, and, and rising cholesterol. So if you couple that with the fact that these are also kind of very numbing drugs, so kids effectively going from, from being able to kind of converse and be talkative to just completely numbed, they're, they're very, very strong drugs to be giving to, to kids under 18. So what do you say to those who say, you know, why should I care about this? You know, they got in trouble, they ended up there, I don't care. What do you say to those who say why others really should care about what sure. you've discovered? Absolutely. I think um, I would probably quote the director of a juvenile center in St. Bernard Parish. He showed me a file for a, for a juvenile this thick, uh, how many times the juvenile had been in and how many times he'd been out. This child uh, had actually only ever made one offense, which was uh, possession of marijuana, and, and then had kind of not gone to bail, had been medicated, and all these other things had happened. And he was kind of just coming in and in out of the system. And this guy said, you know, if only we had uh, a hospital that we could take kids to who had mental health issues, this kid would never have ended up being punished the way he is. So some of the kids that we're concerned about on the outside, they, they, it's just it's a revolving door. They keep coming back and not coming out with any sort of help. That's right. What's the state saying, and where can we read more about this? Um, well, the state is saying that they don't think this is a problem. Uh, which is interesting because the records show that the state is ordering four times too many of these drugs for the number of diagnoses they're making. So uh, it, it seems like there is a problem and, and experts are saying there is a problem, but the state seems to be refusing to acknowledge it. So uh, your viewers can tune in and look at the lensnola.org, which is where the, the story is being published today. A lot more details there. Thanks, Liz. Okay, thanks a lot, Matt.